Hey guys, this is your host Irfan Nasser and today in this video, I want to talk about the Windows 11 recovery backup file. So if you have recently bought a Windows 11 laptop, I would highly recommend that you should create a backup of that Windows 11 laptop so that in the future, if you if somehow your Windows gets corrupted, you would have a recovery media available so that you can recover your Windows operating system. Now, most of the people don't do this stuff and uh, they, whenever their window crashes, they just reinstall a cheap and pirated version of Windows, which is not recommended. So if you have got a Windows laptop or PC straight from the OEM, there will be a genuine Windows 11 uh, installed in that particular laptop or PC. Therefore, you need to have a recovery media so that you would be able to restore that Windows 11 in the future. So for that purpose, you have to go to start and write recovery. As you can see that it will open the recovery option in the control panel from here you have to click on create a recovery drive click on yes now when you will click on yes it will uh, this box will open up and then you have to click over next it's going to search for the external storage device which is connected to your laptop or pc external storage device means a external hard disk external ssd or an external usb drive Mostly, I would recommend that you should uh, buy a separate 32 gigabytes of USB drive in order to safely back up your system files to that particular USB. So for that purpose, when you click over the recovery drive, it's going to open this one. And then you can see that it has uh, found the recovery drive D. And if you click on next, it's going to create the recovery drive. It's going to take some time, maybe 10, 15 or even 20 minutes for the recovery process to complete. So now you can see that uh, more than half of the storage has been taken up uh, by the recovery media. When I click over here, it's basically it has turned into a bootable drive. So whenever your Windows uh, gets corrupted, for some reason you won't be able to boot up your Windows 11. You just have to plug in this USB stick and then start the recovery process. By that way, you will be able to recover your Windows to its previous state. So this is I wanted to show you guys. And this is the most important step that I would recommend you should do when you buy a new laptop or a PC that has genuine Windows 11 installed. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.